I'm going to show my old man that I don't have to rely on his damned fire quirk. But the thing is, he showed so much more than that. But it's kind of weird because his father's gonna lord this over him. Look at me, Todoroki. Speaking of <laughs> a showing a lot, so Deku. I feel like this was a big, big moment for Deku. Uh, like a huge turning point. I want to live up to people's expectations. Yeah, it's it's so funny because he's like way, way exceeding expectations here. He exceeded my expectations at least. It's yours. Such You're a great line. I wanted to. That sums it up really nicely. Thank you. Yeah, that was a great gift that Vittoria gave to Todoroki. One thing I'm not sure I, I fully picked up on last episode is how deliberate this was from Deku. Like, it seems like Deku is, is actually, I wouldn't say prepared to lose because he wants to win, right? But his goal is actually to help Todoroki through this. And they've been building to this through the other episodes where, like, Todoroki declared them as rivals and also spilled his guts about his childhood and basically begged for Deku to love him. <laughs> also built up is the fact that Midoriya is sensitive and cares and has to balance this thing between, like, wanting to win and being a very kind-hearted person. That was sort of All Might's worry for him early on in the tournament. But interestingly, I feel like Deku does such a great job kind of doing both. Like, he's not backing down. In fact, he realizes that the greatest gift he can give to Todoroki is pushing him to his limit to rise to the challenge. It's not pity. It's not, like, looking down on Todoroki. He's not patronizing him. He's bringing the best out of him while also trying to be his own best, which I think is such a beautiful thing. And the only lingering weirdness is that Endeavor sees this as a victory, and I feel like for Todoroki, that's sort of a hard thing to stomach. Midori is but did he really lose? Todoroki or is this a fake out? We'll have to wait till after the, <laughs> after the intro, I guess. So Midoriya was eliminated in the quarter. He really was. Wow, respect. That's so cool. It almost seemed like he was happy to lose. Either way, they were both crazy strong. Everyone won that day. <laughs> you can't be a good pro if you get injured every time you use your quirk. That is true. Even though it hurt him, the kid's got spirit. <laughs> That's an understatement. Power during the cavalry battle, I wonder. <laughs> Bakugo just listening on. But that'll motivate Bakugo too. Man, this class really is special. But I'm glad you're finally seeing reason. Now that you've abandoned your childish rebellion, we can get back to what's important. <laughs> he's, he's so so warm. After you graduate, you'll work by my side. Uh, I'll lead you down the path of the mighty Shoto. He's just not, he's not getting it. For that one moment, I forgot all about you. <gasps> <laughs> That's the worst thing you could ever say to someone like Endeavor. To be forgotten. I don't know. Maybe I don't need you. I don't know. Seems like you don't. Fight on Ida. Oh yeah, it's Ida's round. I'm afraid it'll never be the same as it was before. This is crazy. He's like already going down the All Might route and he's like 11 years old. Look at what he's done to make you proud. Yeah, this has to be addressed. I'm kind of glad she's bringing it up. This can't go You're on. Going too far. You yeah, hear? yeah. You and the boy. Don't praise him for what he's done today. It's nice to meet you, sir. Yeah. They don't they don't realize? All right. Well, that explains a lot. Well, this wounds don't be worry, just leave me to it. <laughs> Where do you go from here, if you're All Might and Deku? I'm sorry. <sighs> stop. I couldn't stop it. You asked of me. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you right there, Deku. There's nothing he he didn't do. He did way too much. Way too much. I do feel like this is sort of a critical moment for All Might. All Might is such a tricky case. Like I'm still wrapping my mind around it. I talked a lot earlier in the show about how I feel like All Might's thing is unhealthy. Yet I can't blame him. I, I can't take anything against the guy because that willingness to sacrifice, I think at heart is a beautiful thing and a wonderful thing. Fully thinking it through, I think because he's so great, the world is better with him. And so him, you know, destroying himself is a major loss for the world. And so it would be better if he found a way to, to balance it. But with Deku going through it, it feels different. I think Deku really is this way. You know, I don't think he's doing this just for All Might, but to the extent that he is doing it for All Might, I think All Might can't ask Deku to sacrifice his body like this and his life like this in the same way he himself, as All Might, can, can sacrifice his body and still be in the right. You know what I mean? There has to be some kind of measuring. And also, just practically, thinking of, of the long-term strategy, Deku's no good to anyone if he peaks at, you know, how old is he now? 12? 13? I don't know, it's tricky. I'm very interested to see what he'll do here. You've got Todoroki to realize something very important about himself. I guess so. Yeah, in my eyes, this was a major, major victory. I couldn't see the bigger picture, or what it would take to win. I'm sorry. I feel like he does see the bigger picture, though, in my eyes. Meddling where you don't technically have to is the essence of being a hero. <laughs> Alright, so I think his phrasing maybe was not the best, but I think the idea 
matches my sentiment somewhat. Like, Deku saw something right in front of him with someone he knows, who's a friend, that was a problem he could do something about without without actually meddling, you know? Like, all Deku did was his best in the tournament, and that ended up being a good for Todoroki. And to me, for reasons I can't quite put my finger on, that feels more grounded as, as a goal than, like, proving yourself to the world in a tournament, right? Like, Todoroki is a real person who Deku knows, who, like, confessed his feelings. Doesn't that have on some level, more direct meaning and value. Wouldn't ignoring that on some level be like a little bit cold and non-heroic? It would be different, I think, if Deku did something dishonest to sort of push Todoroki through it or like take a dive or something like that, right? But no, he actually did something amazing and like pushed himself to the limits and in doing so brought everyone up. Maybe I'm wrong, but it feels to me like All Might is a little bit torn himself. And I guess that's sort of what I'm hoping for because you got to look at this and wonder what your actual goal here is, right? <laughs> I'm like kind of... <laughs> Curious to see. Oh yeah, he's, it's her. No, Ida's gonna lose. Wait, what was my bracket again? I bet on Ida, didn't I? I did, I did. Well, that was fast. So much for the vine slowing him down. Alright, well I got one win. <laughs> Feels like a hollow victory now after Deku losing. Oh well. Oh yeah, and I think I went with Tokuyami too, right? It's gonna be so terrible if, like, I get everything right except for Deku. No, that's not gonna do it. That is not gonna do it. <laughs> it's funny, after this like long, drawn-out battle between Deku and Todoroki, and all the character stuff coming out, these are going by so quick. That's... that's an interesting kind of surgery. And just so you know, I will not heal injuries like this anymore. <laughs> well, there goes Recovery Girl as a plot device. But good for her, I guess. Making a stand? Is that what she's doing? You must find a new way for him to use his power. There has to be an option that's not so self-destructive. I feel like... Like, think long-term. Go back to training. Let's have another beach, beach montage. I want more Deku all my training. They've been a little more distant since they got to school. I put everything I had into the sports festival. He really did. There's no doubt about that. But still, there were other competitors who fought for the victory harder than I did. I don't know about fought harder. I don't think anybody fought harder. Thinking it might be better for someone else to be my successor. Yes. <laughs> Come on, All Might. Tell him what we're all feeling. Then... But you know, I was quirkless too as a kid. Wow. Amazing. Back then, it wasn't as rare of a thing. Right, right. It's a generational thing, right? I had someone who believed in my potential. My master gave me one for all and raised I mean, me to be I want to see more of this guy. I'm curious about his, his backstory. But kid, you've gone beyond my expectations. There we go. There it is. <laughs> That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> one day, you're going to do incredible things with one for all. Yes. But just not yet. We need to clean more beaches first. Save the beaches. I want a beach montage so bad. <laughs> Please. That was so great. I need more. Get out there. You don't want to miss the end. Right. Now you get to enjoy, as a spectator at least. I mean, there's no doubt he made an impression. Like, anybody watching that, the whole world watches it, right? If his goal was to show his, his power and his drive and determination, who wasn't struck by that? Honestly. You don't need to win, necessarily. And there's still villains attacking any, any moment now, any day now. Hey, are you there, Tensei? It's Tenya. I am currently on a mission and cannot answer the phone. I wonder if he was hoping his brother would be watching the tournament. Because Ida cares so deeply about his family and what they think of him, living up to their their expectations. Which are really his own expectations, but... It's him! I found you! He does look really cool. Hero killer! Hero killer. <laughs> yeah, Bakugo's got this one. Nice try, but that's not oh. gonna work on me, explosion boy! Kirishima! Go straight for his chin! <laughs> I love their best friends now. Best friends. Ida and Tokoyami finished their matches already. <sighs> I wish I could have seen them fight. Nobody was there to cheer on Ida. Caught you on <laughs> I don't know why it always cracks me up when, like, their strategy just goes to punching. Punching and uppercuts. What happened when Gun Guy was in the tournament? That must have been a really short, short game. Isn't Genium excited that you've blown through the bracket? He must be so proud of his little brother. Oh no, salt in the wounds. Sure. I called him earlier, but he was working. It's for the best. When we do oh. talk, maybe I'll get to tell him that I won. Damn, he loves him so much. <laughs> He's doing a lot better than I thought he would, though. Never count anyone out among class 1A. <laughs> or class 1B, for that matter. Or the, the general studies class. Bakugo is the winner! What are you doing, idiot? I thought you had more guts. <laughs> Best friends. We're just blazing through this tournament now. This is where everyone's efforts are finally gonna pay off. Yeah. 
Deku said that this is the story of how he becomes the world's greatest hero. But, like, I feel like, really, this is the story of, like, how they become the world's greatest hero squad. Because the way they're processing things together, the way they're pushing each other, it's unreal. He's even more dangerous. Focus. Maybe this will be better than I thought. I just pictured Todoroki blasting through the whole thing, but he is driven too. They're all driven. I have gained new respect for Class 1A in this episode. These episodes. These are no ordinary kids, as many a teacher have noticed. <laughs> I have to win this. Oh, damn. Eight seconds left. What if he to win? That, that would blow my mind, honestly. Oh, he stalled out. My muffler's blocked. Oh, nice. My new bracket. My second bracket. My loser bracket. Still intact. Fame. Money. That's what all of you who call yourselves heroes are really after. <gasps> what? What? What in the what? You bastards are not heroes. Oh, what? All might is worthy. Just another fun, bright episode of My Hero Academia, where nothing nothing goes wrong. Nothing ever can go wrong. Who is this villain? I was half expecting the villain in this arc to still be Shigaraki, although he could still make an appearance. Interestingly, what I think this is getting at is he's hinting at some of the problems that are, are kind of apparent with heroes, like this duality between their heroic elements, like their actual human heroic elements, and their career-oriented focus. Doing anything to get to the top, caring more about image and status. So I'm interested to see where this goes. I feel like it could be good. Anyway, back to the fun tournament. That thing is so damn annoying. <laughs> Does the light affect the shadow's power at all? Dark shadow. The fire. Can't go on the offensive because of all the light. Right, right, right. How am I supposed to commentate when I can't see? What's happening? I remember my first anime, Dust Clearing. It was a pretty bad matchup for you. I almost feel bad. Oh, Dark Shadow's crying. <laughs> Bakugo's the winner of this match! So that means Bakugo Todoroki, right? That's a good match. It doesn't matter who wins or loses. These first years are amazing. Yeah. The draft is gonna yeah. be so insane this year. Yeah, I feel like they could all get hired right now. I have to take notes for next time. Ida. Ida's happy disposition hurts me in light of what we saw. It's your brother. He's okay. A villain got tensei. But he's fine now. He's making a full recovery thanks to. Oh God. You haven't even noticed it, have you? This warped society mired by hypocrisy. Oh, I've noticed it. <laughs> Some of us have noticed it. You will see the world that you've created. Oh, okay. Please remain calm. Oh, so this is the yeah, this is the connection. I think you'll be interested in what I have to offer. We have an organization with a terrible name. Feral killer. Stain. Yeah, so it is still Shigaraki. That's the thing, man. The heroes grow stronger, but so do the villains. <laughs> The pacing of this episode is insane. Like, in one episode, we got just as many matches as we've gotten, like, in the past, I don't know, five, six? And the introduction of the villains. I'm kind of glad it's connected to Shigaraki, because I feel like his ideas, his values haven't fully been explored. But it seems like there, there actually might be a critique of the heroes that I think we as viewers can pick up on. You know, it is a weird, weird world that they're in. There are heroic actions and heroic values. And then there's the hero career, and you would hope that they're very closely aligned, but that's not necessarily the case. In fact, it seems like there's a there's often a big dichotomy between the two. Especially with like Endeavor. If Endeavor is the number two hero, something has has gone wrong. Or, you know, more accurately, being a professional hero, a famous professional hero, does not make you a heroic individual. I think that much is clear. And then throw in the weird hints about like government, government sanctioned, and then questions of morality, like who gets to decide who gets to use their power and for what cause. There is a lot of weirdness and ambiguity that comes with this hero society. And I could imagine there being a lot of valid complaints. I mean, the villains are, are, are villains just because they're doing terrible things. That makes them villains no matter what their justification, right, in my opinion. But I do want to see this further explored. So to take this guy and add him to Shigaraki and the, the terribly named League of Villains and uh, Shadow Dude, whose name I totally forgot, I think is a, is a good choice. And I'm curious to see when does the tournament arc merge with this, this villain thing. And also in this episode, you get a, a little bit of like All Might reflection, even though it's very subtle. It seems to me like All Might is figuring this out. 
himself as well. Like I've said before, you know, the beauty of their relationship, All Might and Deku, is that they are both learning from each other, and All Might's definitely the master, Deku's definitely the student. But there's a certain level on which they're peers, if that makes sense. And All Might is still very much learning. He has an arc himself, and so this episode feels like a bit of a reflection. His his reveal that he was born quirkless, I think, is great. It's really cool. It brings them even closer together. So a very packed episode overall. So I'm guessing the next episode might be the final round already. We sort of just zoom through the, the whole rest of the tournament, and I guess now, or if not shortly after the tournament, we'll take all these characters that we've now built up and got attached to, and throw them into like peril, which is kind of cool and very exciting. So yeah, I'll see you next time for what I think will be the, the epic matchup where I predict that Bakugo wins.